Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we're going to be going over how to make a project and task manager with Notion. So let's get started. Let's start by opening an empty Notion page and let's title it Project and Task Manager. Next, let's add a cover photo and we'll be going to Unsplash so that we can find a quick cover photo. And let's go with something that has a sort of mist aesthetic. We'll go to this one and we will reposition it. Now let's go ahead and click the three dots on the right hand corner and do small text full width. And then we'll click empty page. So now we have everything set up to get started on this project and task manager. So let's map out what we're going to do. So this page is going to have two databases. One is going to be for projects and one is going to be for the tasks. So let's go ahead and make a project database. So let's type slash gallery. And we're going to go with a gallery view database. And let's add plus new database and we'll name this projects. So the second database we're going to have is going to be tasks. And for this, we're going to have a table view database. So let's type slash database and we'll choose table view and plus new database. And let's title this one tasks. So now we have projects up here and tasks down here. And to make it even clearer, let's make a heading projects. Uh, heading slash heading and then three. And we'll call this projects. And let's add a divider by slash divider. And we'll add the divider. And then down here, let's add slash heading three for heading three and then tasks. And then we'll type slash divider below. And now we have these two sections clearly marked. So let's first work on the project section. So to make this easier, we're just going to delete these and delete this one. And then let's actually rename this one project one and delete the inside of here. And let's look at these properties that are the default properties. So we don't need the created for the project. So we're going to delete this one. And tags could be useful. So we'll keep this actually. And the other properties that we should add to the projects is that sometimes we have someone person in charge. So we can put person. We can also put a date for the start and end. So let's put date property. And maybe we'll add one more called notes so in case there's any notes for this project that needs to be taken. We'll put notes. So now we have tags, person, date, notes, and we can get out of here. And let's change the layout by going to layout. And we're going to hide the database title so it looks cleaner, first of all. And then the page, the card preview, we're going to change that to page cover. And that's it for this part. And we're going to rename this projects. And then let's actually add a cover photo for this project. And we'll just get go with some kind of desk. So now we have project one here and then we have a table of tasks. So let's actually start adding some tasks here just so that we can see them up here. So we're going to name this task one, task two, task three. And let's say the tag is the type of work it is. So we could put like computer work, for example, and then for tasks as well, we're going to need to put a person if you're working with others. So let's put person here. And actually to add new properties, all you have to do is click this plus button. And you can even drag the columns to fit better. 
And then let's add files and media in case you want to attach files and media. And one of the most important properties is the status. So you know where we are at the project or the, the tasks. And status, we could drag a bit further forward so we can see it clearly. And actually one thing we want to add to the projects is also the status. So we know whether it's completed or not. So let's actually add that here. Add property and status as well. So now we have status in the projects as well as the tasks. So then we have person, files and media. And let's add a date for the due date. We'll name this due date. And then we'll move this a bit further up here again. And let's also add, so status, due date, tax, person, files and media. And then finally, the important one is the relation property so that we can connect it to the projects. So let's click relation and we're going to connect it to projects. And let's just for now show it on projects so that we can see everything. We're going to add relation. So now we've connected it to projects and let's actually go ahead and click project one here. And let's add a due date just so we add more information. And that's it for here for now. So now let's try to reflect that over in projects. So for that, we recommend making a template inside of projects so that you can always load a list of tasks that are filtered by the project you choose. So let's go plus new template and then we're going to name this project entry. And we're going to add a basic linked view here. So slash and then link, linked view of database. And we're going to see the projects here. So now you can see everything and let's hide the database title here by going to proper uh, layout and toggle off show database title. And then what we need to add, now we just see everything. So we want to add a filter so that we only see project one. So we're going to filter this based on projects. And we want it to filter based on the title of this. So that's project one uh, or project entry in this case, because it's a default template and save for everyone. And now what we don't need to see is this projects column. So we are going to hide this by going to properties and then click this project I icon. So we hide that. And now we have a pretty clean view of the projects uh, tasks and then what we can do is also add a board view to this so that we can see all the projects based off of its status. So we are going to duplicate this tab and we're going to call this board view and let's change the layout to board and that's it and the filter is still on so Let's check what this looks like. So now we can go back. And if we click project one, we're going to see an option to click project entry. So that's what we just created. So we're going to try it out by clicking it. And we have the tasks table filtered by this project one. And we have a board view where we have the not started in progress and done columns. And this is correct here. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and hide these related tasks so we don't see these. So let's actually just change this to minimal. And now we only see it here. So now we have this view for the projects. And what we want to do is actually start showing uh, additional information on the front view of the projects. So let's say we put a date here that the project goes from the 23rd until the 5th and status is in progress and let's say that this is uh, a new new initiative just as a placeholder 
And let's now go to the three dots here and then see which properties you want to show by going to properties and then we will click what we want to show. So date would be nice to see here. Uh, person would be nice if you have a person, status, tags, but tasks we don't need. So we're just going to keep it like this and now you can see important information right outside in this view. So now let's go back to the tasks and let's go ahead and hide this so that it looks cleaner. We're going to hide by going to layout and hide database title. And the next thing we want to do is we don't want to see the tasks that are done here. So the other thing we can do is start adding filter tabs. So let's actually go here and duplicate this. So we're going to duplicate. And this we're going to call view all. So it's always good to have a view all tab in case you need to see everything. So this is going to be the view all tab. And then this tab, we want to filter it based on whether it's not started or in progress. So let's actually rename this unfinished. And then we'll go to filter and then we're going to filter status by not started and in progress. So we don't see the ones that are done. So save. So if, if this becomes done, it disappears. But in view all, you can see it. So along with that, it would be nice just to see the ones that are done. So maybe we can add another. I could duplicate this and call this done. And we will just filter this by status and we just want to see the ones that are done so we save for everyone and so now we have unfinished done and view all and of course you can make these tabs the way you want it so whatever kind of filters you need you can do that and the next thing we can add also is the the sort function so if we add more dates here let's say this is 16 let's add another task Task four, we can put another date. So, so when we view all, we see a bunch of dates now. And let's say we just wanted to make sure these are in some kind of order, then we can go sort and click due date. And ascending means that it goes in order as you see now here. So the latest one is in the, the bottom and the oldest one is in the top but in this case I think ascending makes sense so if you just look at it this way then you'll see which oldest tasks need to be done so let's actually change all of these to ascending so sort due date ascending save for everyone sort due date Ascending save for everyone. So now we have it ascending order and we have the projects here. So next what we can do is just add a couple more projects just so you can see how this works. And we'll go here to plus new and actually let's add this template as a default template. So if you set it as a default for all views and projects, then you can see uh, immediately the template you created here when you open it. So that's very useful if you want to save time. Actually, one more thing we need to do is to edit the default template. So we're going to go to the three dots here, edit, and let's make sure that the board view is showing important information. So we can go to these three dots and then go to properties. And then let's make sure we see the due date and we see the person and we see the status and tags. And let's go back, so then it saves. And now we can make a new project. So let's call this project two. And let's add a cover photo. And we'll choose some kind of desk image again. Let's go with this one. And we'll add some dates add end date 
and tags. And we'll just add tag like if it's a follow up project, then everything looks good. And we click out, then we have project two here. And then let's actually add this as project two. Let's add this one as project two. And let's just check everything has a project. So now if we click here, we'll see that all the project two tasks are here. And you can also see it in board view and even the one that was done already. And just like the tasks, it would be nice to also sort this based on the date. So let's actually change it by going to the template here and edit. And we're just going to sort this by due date ascending, save for everyone. And let's do the same here, board view. Uh, sort due date ascending save for everyone and now if you want to see these changes reflected you actually have to delete this once by clicking the six dots here delete and re-clicking project entry so now we see this in the correct sort and we can see it in the board view as well and if we go here we can also see everything and in board view and here we actually have to update this table. So we're going to delete it and add new project entry. And it should load the correct most recent template here. So let's check. Yeah, now it's here. And we see everything here. And if you were to move this to in progress, you would see this reflected below as well. So that's the basics of making a project and task manager with Notion. If you'd like the completed version of this template, we'll leave the link to that in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, or confusions about what we talked about, please let us know and make sure to subscribe, like, and turn on the notification bell if you like content like this. And we hope to see you in the next one.